the more you study and the more you meditate and you go through these experiences, the quicker you're going to find out that you not trying to expand your consciousness or understand what you are literally goes against God's plan. Let me explain the terminology of ignorance is bliss. It is literally to keep you in fear of what you do not understand. I've studied demonology as well as had an absurd amount of experiences that I still can't even wrap my head around. And according to all the Illuminati, Freemason, all the occult information I've learned, dimensional beings, high dimensional, low dimensional, they've been here. Just the system intentionally calcifies your endocrine system and your third eye. Also understand that the endocrine system is literally responsible for regulating everything in the body. Every illness that is also known can be traced back to a calcified pineal gland. For the exact reason, once you up your vibrational frequency through food, meditation, and you start treating yourself like a temple, the most precious thing that regulates your entire body, your hormones, everything will function in such a state where you will never be sick. I got sidetracked, but back to what I was saying about the occult information. Understand that these low dimensional beings that feed off of your fear and all these other emotions that bear no fruit in your heart, it is free game for them to do as they please. However, angels or angelic beings, they only help you if you ask with conviction. You have to, they only help people that help themselves. Look, it's really simple. If you want to strengthen your resolve, you need to understand that you are the choices between your actions. Stop externalizing blame onto others. Hold yourself accountable. Understand that your pineal gland is made up of piezoelectric crystals. And scientifically, they can measure an electrical current sending and receiving a signal. And that is your feedback loop. For the exact reason, when you become angry, you need to overcome that feedback loop to change it. And that's also how you manifest. You must become the experience of what you're trying to manifest. Your mind cannot tell the difference between imagining the feeling or the sensation of what you're trying to accomplish and actually accomplishing it. Shout out to Dr. Joe Dispenza for that one. Dolores Cannon said it the best. We are literally here to manipulate energy. And I know some people don't like that term manipulate, but when you firmly understand her statement, then you truly will understand how your energy is perceived and how you perceive energy and how you can command energy, how you can manipulate it. You can manipulate it in a good way, a negative way. There is a cause and effect to everything we do. And it's up to you to understand that you are the choices between your actions. I am literally all over the place with this video, but do you remember when you were a kid and you might have seen things you, that you just couldn't wrap your head around and then like later in life, all of a sudden you just don't sense them anymore. But then you're now starting to realize like, what if those things were real and it's just the fluoride? I don't think the fluoride, all that stuff is conspiracy theory. That's real. Like they really do block your perception of this reality and it's all about control.